Hey everyone, Tanner Turney up here in Devil's Lake, North Dakota, checking in with your weekly fishing report. And I tell you what, it's been a hot one the last couple weeks. Uh, we've had quite the warm front come through, but now we've had a, a little bit of a cool front come through this week that's really uh, made the weather a little bit more enjoyable. Um, don't get me wrong, we love beautiful hot summer days, but when you're scratching 100 degrees on the water, it gets to be a lot. So I know a lot of you are kind of tapering off with uh, kids going to school, summer vacations ending, but I know there's still a lot of you guys out there and gals that are still looking to book a fishing trip, um, whether you're coming up to do a little early Canada goose hunting, which kicked off on August 15th and runs through the beginning of September, or our waterfall season that's gonna be kicking off right around the beginning of October. So there's a lot of good things happening here in the area for the outdoorsmen and outdoors women in the next oh, month and a half. And just wanted to give everyone a quick synopsis of the bite that's going on. Um, right now, you know, not a lot has changed since we've done most of the reports since about the 4th of July. It's still the same tactics. A lot of bottom bouncers and spinners and smiley blades, um, pulling plugs and cranks, and you know if you're into more of the ripping glide baits like jig and wraps and Johnny darters and things like that in deep rock piles, deep structures, that's producing fish. But uh, this time of year, like it's always said, dog days of summer are the best way to catch fish, find fish, is put your trolling motor down, put an ounce and a half bottom bouncer on, two ounce bottom bouncer, whatever you prefer. Um, get yourself a, a two to three foot lead and tie up a spinner or go buy a couple of pre-made spinners and start trolling, get into 20 foot of water. Old Lake Shoreline is a really good area to start and just start covering water. And if you find fish on your graph or you catch a few, mark that spot, keep going back and over, over that spot. Um, you know, walleye is a very opportunistic fish. So if you find a few that are active, most, most likely that school is gonna be active. Um, if you're pulling plugs, same kind of tactic. And you know what, structure this time of year is also a great place to look. You know, you could find rock piles like Haley's Hump, Bird Island, um, Doc Hagen's Point's a good area to troll this time of year. Knudsen's Bay, the uh, mouth of Old New Mill Bay area. Those, all those areas are going to produce fish. It's just a matter of finding where the active fish are the day you're on the water. And, and of course, you know, we get our fair share of wind up in North Dakota. And one of the key things to do is always find that windswept shoreline, whether it's been a prevailing south wind for three days, get yourself on the north side. And uh, a lot of those bait fish should be stacked up in there. And if it's a day you're out there and it's a good walleye chop, hit that windy side. I know we all love to be on the calm side, but the bite usually, for the most part, is going to be better on a little bit of the chop. We like to call it a walleye chop. Um, Canada goose season kicked off your August 15th. You know, some of the wheat and barley fields are starting to come down. And it's a great opportunity for anyone out of state to come up and take a stab at some Canada goose hunting. You know, it does not count against your regular waterfall license up here. So you still have your, I think it's like 14 days. Um, two different seven day windows or two different five day windows. So it doesn't count against that. It's a great way to dust off the gun, get a little practice in before a uh, regular waterfall season kicks off. And in regards to that, you know, right now is the time to start making sure you've got your lodging and accommodations. And heck, we do have a few guide services in the area for waterfall hunting, which book up pretty quick, um, if not already. So if you're looking to get a waterfall trip in up to the Dakotas here up in the Devil's Lake area this uh, fall yet, now is the time to make those accommodations. And I know I hate to say it, but everyone starts thinking about ice fishing here as we get to the peak of uh, summer ending and fall kicking in. You know, we've still got a ways to go before we put ice on the lake, and but it's never too early to get those guides and reservations booked up, especially if you've got certain windows, certain places you wanna stay. Now is the time to get those locked in so you know you have a spot this winter coming up here. Um, just wanted to leave with one little piece of information. I gotta give a big shout out to the Lake Region Anglers. You know, they did help with our tournaments this summer and cleaning the fish and all of those fish are donated to the community fish fry and corn feed. Um, and all the proceeds from that community fish fry and corn feed go right back into the Lake Region Anglers Association, which are the ones that help maintain the docks, keep the docks up and running. Um, there's a lot of stuff they do behind the scenes that uh, are very beneficial to us and they're a part of uh, our, our local uh, Lake Access Committee, which helps make sure that we have free public access to anyone in the area, anyone traveling in. Um, it's nice when you can pull up to a boat ramp and not have to pay a five, $10 fee. So thanks to Lake Region Anglers. You wanna check out the Community Fish Fry. It's gonna be held next week on Thursday, August 26th. And we'll be start serving starting at 5 p.m. till gone. So come try some fresh sweet corn, fresh fish from the lake this summer. It's a great time. You know, school's kicking in, but there's still time to get up here and enjoy some beautiful weather that we have. If you're up in the area, use hashtag Devil's Lake ND, and uh, we'll check in next week and give you an update on everything's coming along. So thanks for following along, and we hope to see you up here yet this summer or fall.